The poor man Dior, the poor man Dior says how I've seen a lot of people calling this you don't want low virons on the internet. And I gotta tell you though, I like the shoe. Dior's or not, I don't care, man. Poor man Dior's, I don't care, okay? Man, these are so damn clean, man. The you don't want low virons, man. Why do I want to go and pick up these shoes tomorrow, man? For me, it's very simple. I told you I love Jordan 1 Lowe's and I think this one is a very, very clean pair of Jordan 1 Lowe's. That, yes, I want one of these in my collection. What can I say? I got this one for the video only, but this is not my personal pair. But man, after seeing these shoes in person, yes, I want these shoes. I want these shoes. What can I do? I want the shoes. But if you're interested in picking these shoes up tomorrow or eventually when the shoe goes on sale, on today's video, I'm going to tell you some things about this shoe that I'm pretty sure you want to know about, man. Ooh, what a clean shoe, what a clean shoe. But before we go and talk about all the things about these amazing pair of shoes right here in my hand, please let me ask you to go and hit the thumbs drop if you like the content. Also go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Activate that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video which is every single day, guys. So, so go follow me on my Instagram and on TikTok as JasonJKX. And now, let's begin this video. These Jordan 1 Low Byrons are so damn clean. I love how clean the shoe looks. And yes, I can see why so many of you are calling these shoes the poor man Dior's. Because the colorway and color blocking on these shoes is kind of similar, you know, it's kind of similar. The shade of gray is kind of similar as well. But I think this shoe shine by itself, you know. These Jordan 1 Lowe's are so damn good. And I think this is the first time that you can call a shoe a poor man version of another shoe. And I can kind of agree because the retail price of this shoe is 140 while the retail price on the Jordan 1 Low Dior's was, ah, what man, this, you know, insane, insane paying this all this money for a pair of Jordan 1 Lowe's, but this shoe right here, man, I don't think this shoe is a bad shoe. Actually, I like this one a lot. I am gonna be like, oh, I like this more than the Dior's because, I mean, the Dior's, as spicy as they are, I think the design is pretty cool, okay? I wouldn't pay the, the price for those. I mean, come on. That's a pair of shoes that I'm going to wear, and I'm not willing to spend a lot of money. I'm not willing to spend all that money for a pair of shoes that are gonna go straight to my feet because you know me, I love to wear my shoes and man, 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 I have other things in my life to do and spending all that money on a pair of shoes, as much as I love shoes, that's not something that I'm willing to do. That's all I'm trying to say. But with all that being said, let's be honest, all right? This shoe shine by itself. This shoe has nothing to do with the Dior's. This shoe is a beautiful shoe that, yes, you can easily get, but it's also a shoe that is going to make you look good because you can wear these shoes with anything. I mean, look at that, man. These shoes are that simple. Yeah, I know. But sometimes there's beauty in the simplicity. And I think on this occasion, that's exactly what happened with this one. The shade of gray on the shoes is beautiful. The black accent are so damn well put together on the shoe. When you're trying to create a clean look, because there's another thing that I need to tell you about these shoes that I was expecting when I knew that a pair of Jordan 1 low Virons were coming out. So, clean look on this shoe, yes, we have it because the shade of gray on this shoe is super beautiful. We have white on the side panel, on the toe, and on the midsole of the shoe, and we have black on the swoosh and on the back of the shoe. But when I knew that we were going to get a low version of the Genuine 1 Low Virons, I was expecting to get the same exact colorway and color blocking that we have on the high top version of the Genuine 1 Virons. But we have in this shoe that have this type of a Chicago color blocking instead of the black toe color blocking that we have on the on the Jordan 1 Low Virons. But it's a bad thing, not necessarily, but if you're going to give me a low version of a Jordan 1 High, give me the same color blocking, you know? Like a pair of shoes that I'm going to review for you very soon that is a low version of a really dope pair of Jordan 1 High, and those have the same exact color blocking as the High. So I was expecting the same thing with this one. 
but still, in my opinion, a really clean pair of shoes, and they look so damn good with the black laces that the shoe comes with, but also they look so good with the white laces that are also included in the shoe. This is a more clean look, as you can see, but the black laces, I think, make the black accent on the shoe pop a lot more. So it's your decision which laces are you gonna go with, but I think it's a little crazy, by the way, that Jordan Brand is releasing three straight Jordan 1 lows with gray on it. We have the silver ones, and we also have the shadow lows, and now we're getting these Vibrons, and all three of these shoes has gray on it, you know? I was suspecting another crazy color, and we're gonna get some of those later on the year, but three straight in a row with gray color on? I think that's a little crazy, and I think that's one of the reasons why all these three shoes are sitting in stores today. Yes, including the Shadow Lows, which is one of the best colorways ever, an iconic OG shoe that is sitting today in stores this low version of the you don't want low shadows is just beautiful and look how these two shoes look good together i like it man i like it i like it a lot it's like the um yin yang between these two shoes right here because the color blocking are almost um like uh, reversed but not exactly but you you get the point you get the point by the way let me know in the comment section which of these two is your favorite what should go with the um og lows the shadow ones or the virons what should like this cleaner look on the shoe let me know that in the comment section man but this shoe i think is super nice super simple but i like that on a pair of shoes i appreciate the simplicity i, I can see the beauty of it but man this is nice and on feet i think they look fantastic as well by the way on this one i went through the size just like i go with all the good ones i have in my collections mid lows and highs they all fit me the same and on this one man i'm telling you if you go for these you're going to get a really clean pair of shoes that you won't regret to have in your weekly rotation because this is one of those shoes that are super good to have it on the weekly rotation like you know those shoes that you don't mind beating up this is one of those and these are super clean as well, man. I don't know. If the shoe goes on sale, I'll probably grab another pair to have them on ice because these are clean as hell. But let me know your opinion about these shoes, guys. How are you going to go for this one tomorrow? I already show you the full in-depth review and also the on feed and lace swap video on the shoe. I put some gray laces on the shoe as well to um, combine with the main color of the shoe. And I think they look good, but go and watch my lace swap video if you want to see how they look with the gray laces, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Share your opinion with me about these shoes. Are you going for this tomorrow or not? Let me know that in the comment section. I would really appreciate it. And I will also appreciate if you leave a like for your boy, because that's gonna help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to see more of my content outside of YouTube, make sure to follow me right here on my Instagram, jsonjkx. I'm always uploading videos, picture, sneaker information like short drop, early access, all the upcoming releases. So you're going to know about that first, right here on my Instagram. Jason J. Kicks. Thank you again for watching, guys, and until the next one, goodbye.